So now that we have the individual modular components built, we can basically, you know, mess around with the tooling if we wanted to. So for example, uh, we have a tool, we have a holder, and we have a collet. We have three components. So if I wanted to swap something, I could just double click this and come here. And going back to the uh, cat style, uh, we can look at some different holders here. Uh, maybe, maybe this one here, much longer tool holder. I'll say OK. And you'll notice that the, <clears throat> the collet and the tool shift accordingly. So as I change any of these components, uh, they should, you know, reflect the update in the tool assembly itself. So here we have a different one. And we see that the collet and the tool are shifting uh, correctly. So as long as your location values are correct, um, you know, for each individual component, the component will, you know, appear in the right spot. Now, we could, you know, if we did something wrong, you know, I can translate this out. Uh, well, I guess I got to put a negative value here. Uh, we can see the collet. Let me make that a little bit larger. So we can see the collet and the tool, you know, basically uh, exploding in view here uh, where you see the, the interface with the collet and the collet would slide into the holder like in real life. So once you've built these components, um, you can interchange and swap them around inside of the Esprit simulation, no problem. So let me go back here, and because this looks weird. I'm going to set this back to zero. <clears throat> and we can come in and add a new adaptive item. And I'll grab any of these here. Um, let's, uh, let's grab a different size one. So we have a larger, uh, this is a, looks like a Cat 50 holder right here. So we have a, I'll just leave it for now, but uh, we have a Cat 50 holder. And the inside bore is now a 15 series bore. So here I will right click on this one and add under the power grip collets, I made a 15. I'll say okay. And sure enough, that appears where it's supposed to. And then I can create a tool here. And I'll just make an end mill. And this one we can say is like a six millimeter tool. <clears throat> and we can see that that is going to appear all in the correct place. So now I have, you know, two different tool assemblies that you can swap between, you know, so as I call up the tool in the program, I will see the exact tool assembly that I would have on the machine.